Similar to the Federal Employers Liability Act, FILA, of 1906, which was passed to protect railway workers, the Jones Act was passed by Congress in 1920, recognizing that maritime workers merited a special protection. And it was also passed to give them an adequate recourse to address the hazards of their job. A Jones Act negligence claim is actionable against your employer. Under Jones Act negligence, you have four main elements to prove. One, duty. Two, breach. Three, causation. And four, damages. Looking at the first element, duty. A vessel employer has a duty to provide a safe place in which to work. It has a duty to provide safe work methods. In any Jones Act negligence case, you are looking at the circumstances of the incident, the type of the vessel, what they were doing, and you're determining what that particular employer had a duty of. And again, generally, it's a safe place in which to work and safe work methods. And that's very factually dependent on each particular case. A commercial diver can be a Jones X seaman. A commercial fisherman can be a Jones X seaman. And a tankerman can be a Jones X seaman and a variety of other maritime workers can qualify as a Jones Act seaman. And what the particular duties are of the employer in each case will be factually dependent. Secondly, you need to show breach, that the employer did not meet its duty either to provide a safe workplace or did not provide safe work methods, did not provide sufficient training to work safely. And if you can show breach, then you need to show causation which is that the incident itself caused in any degree, no matter how slight, the injuries which you are seeking damages for. The featherweight causation standard is unique to a Jones Act claim because it just requires you to show that the incident contributed in some degree, no matter how slight, to the injuries you are seeking damages for. This is unlike any other negligence claim that you will see in a shoreside case and is unique to a Jones Act claim for a Jones Act seaman.